Hello there. Okay, so this is Shortski coming at you with a video recommendation. Um, and the books that I will be recommending to you, the audience, will be a series that I really have enjoyed over the past month that I've read it. The The Secrets of the Immortal Nicholas Flamel, written by Michael Scott. Um, I've really, really enjoyed this book. I'm a big fan of mythology, and that is a lot the, like, the whole premise of these books. Um, sh long story short, summary time. Well, this is the first one, The Alchemist. Um, basically, you have two twins, Sophie and Josh Newman, who, like every story, or almost every story, is completely normal until something big happens and their life is just twist turned upside down. And now I have fresh pins of Bel Air stuck in my head. Ugh, I always do that to myself. Okay, um, basically, Nicholas Flamel is, how do I explain Nicholas Flamel? Oh. Um, the back of the book tells you he was born in 1330 and died in 1418, but the big secret is that when they opened his tomb, there was nobody there. Same with his wife, Paranel Flamel. And he is an alchemist who has, he went off on a journey with his wife in search of the Philosopher's Stone, and they say that he has he had found it, and that he he accumulated great masses of wealth, and they say that he is immortal. And basically it takes those two characters and their journey with the, um, the Codex, the Book of Abraham the Mage, is stolen from them by Dr. John D, who is known as um, Queen Elizabeth's, uh, right-hand man, I believe. I think it's Queen Elizabeth. Uh, and basically, the whole premise of the story of the series is trying to get the Codex back before the Flamels wither and die because they use the Codex to, um, as it, they use it as, it's like they're ugh, trying to get the words out here. Uh, it's basically their, I'm really bad with words, man. Okay, it gives them eternal life. I'll just go with that. I can't think of any fancy schmancy words at the moment. I'm so tired. But it's... Book one, that's what they go through and try to find the codex, get it back from John Dee, run away from John Dee, because apparently they are the twins of legend, or they believe that they're the twins of legend, to help save humanity from the dark elders who are trying to destroy humanity, obviously. You always need someone to destroy humanity. Uh... And this, this book takes place all in one day, um, in San Francisco, yes, in the California area. Book two, The Magician, takes place in Paris, France. They're still trying to get away from John D. They're still, then they're still trying to awaken the twins' powers so they can save the world. And basically, well, I'm not going to give away the whole story, obviously, but the one thing that I really like about these books, 
um, is the overflowing mythology. Really, he Michael Scott goes all out, and it's it's so it's really cool to bring in all of the olden societies of and all their legends, not just the whole Greek gods and goddesses, or you bring in. It's just, it's not the typical, oh look, it's Zeus, oh look, it's Aphrodite. No, you have like, um, you have Egyptian god, you have Egyptian uh, mythology, you have Celtic mythology, and I just think it's, it's really, really interesting to read, and then to look up the information and see how he actually incorporates it into the story is it blows my mind how how people do that how michael scott does it it's one of the big things that really makes me love this series is the overwhelming mythology and how he just weaves it all together <laughs> i sound like i'm <sighs> um and also the places and how he he does it it just blows my mind the Sorceress takes place both in San Francisco, on Alcatraz, and in London. So I thought it was cool reading about London. And then Necromancer takes place in those three again. And I really, I really enjoyed Necromancer. And I was so, so upset at the ending. I was gonna fling this book against the wall like I did with Twilight but Twilight was because I was just completely angry at the whole January, February, March, April, May, June, July pages and I'm just like what is this? but I wanted to throw this against the wall because biggest cliffhanger ever Michael Scott biggest cliffhanger ever oh, and I was so upset that I, I didn't have the warlock so I couldn't read it but I saw the warlock in borders and I me being very frugal I'm just kidding I I didn't want to pay $17 for the hardcover but it pained me so badly I'm waiting for paperback I'm waiting for paperback but if you I recommend this really to people who love young adult fiction who love um Topography, geography, it's it's just amazing of all the places that, I mean, you get the big cities, London, Paris, I mean, but it's really cool how he, he brings it all together and the mythology. I can't, you, you already, I already went off about mythology. I, I love ancient history. And mythology is a big thing that I adore, and I wish we studied mythology more in school. So I always rely on books with mythology and looking at on Google and Wikipedia. Oh, I know everybody's like, oh, Wikipedia, no, it's so bad. But I love Wikipedia. It's my number one source of information. But mythology, thumbs up there, Michael Scott. Um. I'm going to go, before I rant anymore, I'm going to leave you off here. Um, I hope you enjoyed it, the recommendation. I hope you um, do check it out because it really is a wonderful series and it's going to pain me when it's over because it's six books. They're not, they're not even that long either. I mean, that's not that thick. Well, The Sorceress is the thickest book so far in my little library of Michael Scott, Nicholas Fumel. I don't really have, again, I don't have The Warlock, so I wouldn't know how thick that one is. But I hope you check them out. I hope you enjoy them, because I surely do enjoy them. And I will see you again if I do another recommendation. I probably will. I like doing recommendations. Uh, check out my blog. Rondo of Possible World at blogspot.com. I will see you all later. Pew!